So this is my grandpa's 1951 U. Um, he sold it when uh, at his auction when he retired farming in 1976. And I started farming in 2003 and wanted to find this tractor. And I spent a lot of time looking for it, calling auctioneers all over the country. And one popped up uh, just about five, six miles from here. And the serial numbers matched. It had been back of a guy's shed for years. And we weren't sure, just kind of after all the looking, couldn't believe it, and went over to look at it. And we found my grandfather's handwriting. He'd actually written all over it before it was restored. And we preserved a few of the spots. But uh, my dad wasn't too keen on buying. He's like, what do you want that old thing for? It's going to be in the way. You know, that. We got there, and we found Grandpa's handwriting. We had the manuals where it had his notes and everything in it. And Dad's like, you got to buy this tractor. I'm like, I know. <laughs> so I bought it and had it restored uh, by a guy down at Moeque, Illinois. And did a good job. It was a little rough when we first got it. It was running, but uh, not much more. And uh, uh, he went, he uh, did a lot of the uh, did all the painting on it and everything and the body work. They were using it to uh, just run an auger. Since Grandpa retired in 76, clear up until 2003, they'd drag it out of the shed, they'd run the auger, and they'd put it back in the shed. So it probably didn't have, you know, a mile on the tires, which are the tires that Grandpa had on it. We had to replace the front ones, but the rear ones are those same tires that I remember as a little kid. Nothing. Just parades and hay rides and, uh, you know, tractor rides, stuff like that. I'm tempted to put it on auger or something, I don't think, so I think it'll just stay in the shed and stay clean. It'll never leave the farm as long as I'm alive. <laughs>